trade this season and there is a starting lineup for Kem Silla. Omari Chambers who was on the bench for most of last season is between the sticks in front of him Jordan Dyke Anthony Brown Robert Crawford and Roshan Thomas in the middle of the park Shaquille Goldburn ja Janiki Howell Junior Robinson and up top Shamar Daly Cornel Smith the center forward and Dante Miller So as we take a look at the officials for today's game, Mr. Plummer, of course, is the one in the middle. Kemsel winning the toss. And uh, it will be very technical with first strike. As we take a look at the very technical starting lineup, Ricardi Thomas is now between the sticks for very technical having started on the bench for the majority of the time last season Devante Hansen over on the left Kimran Walters on the right and Neville Latchman and Andre Andre Scott in the middle in the back line Akim Ashura is the holding midfielder and the captain Jamari Foster and Kemai Hunt in front of him Malcolm Lennon on the left Nathaniel Henry on the right and Patrick Page is a center forward uh, for Veer technical as we take a look at the full-time highlights here between Kemsil and Veer Technical and uh, an opportunity early in the piece got a good hand on it did Chambers moving smartly to his left and then the resulting corner kick delivery inside and the free header converted well and uh, Jamari Foster opening the scoring in this game good finish under no pressure at all and uh, they had quite a few chances and the Chambers was a nuisance between the sticks coming out and applying the pressure there and again the ball inside and the Chambers spilling that one and then recovering well and then he was safely behind that free kick attempt this one driven from distance and wasn't too sure on that occasion Omari and Chambers but on this occasion again well behind it even if he had to mop up his own work which he did on a couple of occasions and then the own goal nothing he could have done about that one Crawford unaware where he was under no pressure at all didn't need to touch it could have left it guided it into his own net and that was right on the stroke of half time Kemsil looked better in that second half they had a few opportunities Malcolm Lennon really wants to be on the score sheet but that was a fabulous save it really was by Omaria Chambers that's a strong hand that he got out there but Veer in the end with the win Kemsel with 12 shots, 6 on target. The majority of those shots came in the second half. Veer Technical with 19 shots overall and 12 on target. A, a quite a physical game with 25 fouls committed, but just a, a couple of yellow cards shown, both to Veer Technical. Veer Technical had the majority of the corners as well. Three more than Kems Hill and Veer Technical with the majority of the possession at 60%. It's now time to see who are KFC big deal player of the game is thank you Donald I'm standing here with man of the match from Beer Technical Malcolm Lennon Malcolm you were our player to watch today yes. and you lived up to the billing how does it feel to be man of the match it was a great feeling this wasn't the expectation but we pulled through when you say this wasn't the expectation did you expect to give Kemsil more yes 
Well, you weren't on the score sheet today, but you were really influential. Speak to me about the role your teammates played in adding to your game. Oh, yeah, very. Yeah, and in terms of tactics, I saw Coach Cephas with his board yeah. moving the pieces around. Speak to me a little bit about the tactics and his... He just gave me a free role and I did what he told me to do. And that's right. job finish. Thank you, Malcolm. Yes, thank All you. the best. Yeah. Yep, Malcolm Lennon there most influential man on the park, depending on who you ask. I'm here with Coach Smith of Kemp's Hill. Coach, it wasn't meant to be today, but speak to me about that improved second half. Well, um, second half, we made some adjustments um, based on what happened in the first half. No coach would want to risk, um, concede a goal in the first five minutes and then the last five minutes of the half. Psychologically, that took a toll on us, and we just couldn't get back. We thought our legs were a bit um, stronger, seeing that is our second, second game of the week, but, but um, they take had a better run for In terms of regrouping and getting ready for Garvey, how do you go into that one? Yes, man, we're, de we're definitely going to regroup and get, um, get in shape for Garvey. We have another home match. This should have been our home game. So we have a home game. We, we hope the fans are not disheartened and, and will come out and, and, and lend us support as well. Thank you, coach. All the best. Okay, same. All right, I'll be now joined by winning coach of Vertec, Coach Cephas. You said it yourself. Just win, and that's what you did, coach. How pleased are you with, with that win? Well, it's um, it was a identification of how we train, practice, and that's our philosophy. As I say, it was just a beginning, it's the only one game. I say a long road to go, so don't get too conceited and just play the football to the best of our ability. What impressed you most about your boys' performances? Well, it's about discipline, you know, discipline and consistency, and that's what play pro football overseas, in London. So. See, my mentality I'm trying to give up, give them to be a consistency. No matter what, or body playing, be consistent while you do properly. So they did it, and that's it. Thank you, Coach Cephas. Congratulations. Uh, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Competition and never have a nice up. People love see when boys get nice up on the field. I'm going